Here in Lungi, Sierra Leone, Mercy Ship staff and international volunteers are busy cutting, gluing, grinding, and fitting hope. They are part of Mercy Ship's New Step Center, and today they have traveled to this community, a two-hour drive from Freetown, the capital, to conduct examinations, take on new cases, and fit and distribute mobility devices. Many of the people in this room have been waiting for months for Mercy Ships to return to their city. In a country with no primary health care system, Mercy Ships brings not only hope, but the professionals here quite literally save lives. Children arrive malnourished, their parents oblivious to what the problem is and how to solve it, and often simple disabilities are left untreated, only to become more debilitating. This child is seven years old. Her bones have not developed properly and she is unable to walk. Physiotherapists like Australian Michelle Watson screen and treat children with a range of conditions. This child was brought this morning by her parents without an appointment. They said she was sick and waited several hours to be seen. Many of them have conditions that as a physiotherapist Watson can identify but not treat. My sister is two years old, 11 months, and her mum brought her today because she hasn't been able to walk for the last four months. And she's been crying with pain when they asked her to stand up. About four months ago, she got a cough and a fever, so we're wondering if she's got tuberculosis. So she, her parents are going to take her to a clinic to be seen by a medical doctor. Lungi is a sprawling community close to the Atlantic Ocean. As in almost all African communities, there are stories of hardship. But there are many stories of hope. The mobility devices that Mercy Ships distributes, canes and crutches, wheelchairs from the Wheelchair Foundation, and PETS, personal energy transport devices, go a long way in making the disabled feel valued. Around the world, Mercy Ships is changing and transforming people and their communities. One of the legacies of the conflict here is the large number of disabled, the war wounded, and those who suffered because simple vaccines were inaccessible. But Mercy Ship's land-based operations, like the ones in Sierra Leone, are creating a new legacy. Freedom. For Mercy Ships, this is Justin Hayne in Lungi, Sierra Leone.